All right, hello everybody. So this is Ye Chun Yu from South Korea. And today we're gonna learn about the day of the week. Day of the week, okay? That is gonna be not that difficult and it's gonna be continuous. It's gonna be the continuous class, continuing class from the date, okay? So hope you guys can understand most of it. And then I'm gonna share my screen. Three, two, one. Let's get it. All right. So, if you guys prepared our previous class note, and if you guys are can see my screen and can hear my voice clearly, please please write down in the chat with the yes, please. All right, perfect. Okay, so today we are going to learn about the day of the week. Day of the week. Okay, so how you can say with the day of the week? Okay, let's say you can say with yo il. Yo il. Yo il. Yo il. All right, so. Day of the week is going to be the yo But how you can say with the Monday until Sunday? You can say Monday, what you will. What you will. Tuesday, how you will. How you will. Wednesday, su yo yi. Su yo yi. Thursday, mo gyo yi. Mo gyo yi. Friday, Kumyoye. Kumyoye. Saturday, Toyoye. Toyoye. Sunday, Idioye. Idioye. All right. And there's the bracket in the first, each first letter in the each sentence, right? The reason that I put it in here because like this, if you're trying to write it down with the day of the week, you can also use it with the simplify word with the first letter of the each sentence, each words. Okay, so let's say if you want to say, uh, if you would write down 2021, like uh, August 23rd and Thursday, you can just use some more when you're writing down for the date. Okay, now with the all, all, now with the full word, but with the only first letter of the word. Okay, so we can, please remember, we also can writing down like this, but also we also can writing down like this short format. Okay, all right, let's go to the next one. So this one is the, another word for the date. How you can calculate with the night and day in Korean? So for the night, you can say la la pak. La la pak. For the day, you can calculate with la la il. La la il. All right. So this is the counting word for the night and day. So uh, please remember it. For the reading, how you can read it? You can read it with the Sino counting version. What was the Sino counting version? Sino was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So Sino counting version, counting, uh, Sino counting, and then counting word for the night, which is Pak, and then Sino counting version, and Il, which is there's the counting version for the uh, counting word for the day. Okay, this, this, this is gonna be the format. And then how you can writing down is super easy. Number, just number and pop and number and i. Okay, so this is the example like this. One night, two days, how you can say. For the reading, you need to use it with the which version? Uh, the Sino version. So i and night counting word, pop and Two is E, and then there is going to be the counting words, 
Il. So, how you can read it? Il va, il. Il va, il. And how you can write it down? Like this. Using some number and count words. Easy, isn't it? All right, next one. Other words for the date. Okay, we learned about kebar for counting the months at the previous class. Remember, if you forgot it, then please be watching our previous class video with the date. Okay, and but we also have a, at the same uh, we all, at the same time we also have another counting word which is tal tal. Okay, but this one have to using with the you have to reading with the native Korean changing form. Okay, do you know? I hope you guys remember it. Native Korean changing form was what? Actually, uh, let's try with the native Korean first. What is the native Korean? Is hana tur set net right? But changing from was what? Hana is becomes to han. Tur is becomes to tu, right? So if you already, uh, if you also missed it, this counting uh, counting like method, please watching the our previous class with basic chapter three with counting, counting. All right. So for the month, they have two different counting words, which is native Korean changing form plus tal, and see the version plus kewal. Native Korean changing form plus tal, and see no version plus kewal. Okay, so this is the example. Four months, how you can say? If we're using with the tal, that is gonna be not a net tal, okay? Changing, you have to use the changing form, which is ne tal. All right, then how about the writing? It's gonna be the using some number and the counting word, tai. All right, next one, 12 months. If you want to say with the k word, then which, you, uh, which counting version you have to use it? See the counting version. How you can say 12? Shibi. And then just put some k word. Shibi k word. Shibi k word. Right? Writing is easy as well. Good? All right, until here, do you guys have any questions so far? If you can understand the mo uh, everything, please write down in the chat with good, please. All right, this is not that difficult, right? You can just memorize it. You can just note it and just memorize it. All right, let's go to the next one, week. We also have a counting word for the week as well. Okay, so for example, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you some for uh, example with that later. Okay, so how you can write it, how you can use it, how you can uh, read it. Okay, reading version is gonna be Sina version plus Chu. Chu, Chu is gonna be the counting word for the week. Okay, so sino plus chu. That is how you can reading with the week. Okay, then how you can, uh, yeah, how you can say with the three weeks. It's casino county version is which is, uh, what is the sino county version for the three? It's gonna be sam, sam, right? And we, what is the counting word for the week? Chu, right? Then how you can say? Samju, Samju. Writing is going to be super easy. Number and chu. All right. How about the 24 weeks? How you can say? 24 is 이십사. 이십사. And week chu. So it's going to be 이십사주. 이십사주. Writing is going to be just the num using some number and the counting words. Just like this, okay? And though this, uh, those words is gonna be the another word for the, uh, to, uh, explain about date, okay? Not a date, uh, yeah, it's a date as well. So for the weekend, how you can say? 주말. 주말. How about the weekday? You can choose between it. You can choose with 평일, 평일 or 
주간. 주간. Okay, so what's the differentiation between the 평일 and 주간? 주간 is usually we use it when we are writing now. Okay, and when you, let's say, if you want to make some poster that you want to recruit someone and uh, for the employees, and if you want to write down with the, like uh, employees for the weekday, you can write it down with the 주간. Okay, but for the, of course, you can write it down with the 평일, but 주간 is a bit more like professional word for the writing. But uh, for the 평일, it's really common word when we speak out. So let's say, when do you want to meet? Uh, how about the how about weekday? Then you can say, 평일, 평일은 어때? 평일, 평일. All right, so when we sp usually speak out, we're using some 평일 a lot. But when you try to write it down, we usually using some 주간. All right, so please rem rem remember it. How about the inside of the week? In a week, you can say 주중. 주중. So like, let's meet it in a week. Let's meet it in a week. Let's meet it. Let's meet in a week. Then you can say 주중에 만나자. 주중에 만나자. We're gonna learn it next time, okay? Well, in the future. But please remember that in a week, we can use it with the 주중. All right. How about this one? Public holiday. Let's try with the holiday first. Holiday is gonna be 휴일. 휴일. All right. And if you want to use it with the public as well, then you can say 공휴일. 공휴일. So public is going to be the meaning. Uh, 공 is going to be the meaning with the public. Actually, real meaning is a uh, real word is going to be like 공공. 공공시설. 공공의. All right. But we just simplify with the one letter, which is 공. And if you add it together, it becomes to public holiday. 공휴일. 공휴일. All right. Someone asked, can you please say the, say the difference on the weekdays again? Okay. So weekdays. 평일 is going to be you usually, when you usually using with the, when you usually speak out, speaking with your friends or people. We usually use a lot. 주간 is really uh, they're uh, really generally using with the writing. When you try to writing something and explain something in the writing, we're using some 주간 more than 평일. Okay. But in the uh, speaking, we usually 평, using some 평일 more than 주간. Okay. Or you also can speak both of it, but for the, for the for like frequency, sequence, uh, the frequency. Yes. So please remember this one is more close, uh, more popular to speak out. This one's more popular to writing down. Okay. Next one, vacation. That's the most important, like one of the important things, right? For the majors, like businessmen, businessmen or something, you can say with Huga. Huga. All right. How about the students? They can say. 방학, 방학, all right? Vacation, major is how you can say 휴가, 휴가. Adults, so you can say 휴가. And for the students, you can say 방학, 방학, all right? Okay, until here. Everything is good, everybody? If you guys have any questions, please write it down. And if you guys can understand most of it, please say, please say good in the chat, please. All right. Impressive. You, are, you guys are know most of it. All right. Impressive. All right. Then let's go to the practical class. How you can say Friday, because today is Friday. Over there is going to be. A, even though you are, uh, even your countries and continents in the Thursday right now, over here is the 140, 1.40 a.m. So it's already Friday, so I'm in the weekend. So, but of course I need to, of, I, of course I need to work one more day, but still it's, it's just happy because it's today's Friday. How you can say with the Friday 
in the Korean. Can you write it down? With the reading version with English, please. Abigail, nice, nice, nice. But can you try with the English version, please, as well? How you can write it down? Correct. Just like this, okay? All right. Let's say, okay, night and day. Let's, let's try with the night and days. Well, I've never been to Dubai before, but I really want to go to the, the Dubai for the holiday because of the nice hotel. Mm -hmm. Then I'm trying to acting right now, guys. Okay, so, well, if I go to the Dubai and I want to go to over there for the holiday and I want to stay in for the 14, 14 nights and for 15 days, how you can say that? 14 nights and 15 days. For night and days, what counting version did we use it? I'll give some hint. There we go. Sino version. Okay. Sino version. How you can say what? 14 days and 15 nights. Uh, 14 nights and 15 days. Yes, Jimmy, that is a really easy one, right? But can you try with a reading version, please? Yeah, no, using the number is easy, right? Debbie, there is nice try. Can you try with the uh, English version, please? When we're trying to asking y'all, please write it down with the English version. All right. Abigail, ship nebak ship oil. You have a confusion with the native Korean and the <laughs> Sino version. Okay. So how you can say we're the 14? Okay. Ship sabak. Ship oil. All right. So how you can say ship sabak. Ship oil. Just like this. Okay. So if I asking everyone with the questions. Please write down with a this format first, okay? Because writing version, a uh, writing version is super easy. Just number and that's all. Number and the counting words, right? But we need to. I need to check y'all with the. You guys are really understand about the, which counting version do you have to use, and also how you can pronounce it. Uh, I uh, is, is it is it right? Like, uh, is it? Like, is it correct that you guys are, how to pronounce it? I don't know what that is. I, I, I don't know what I might say, but yeah. So I just want to make, to, I want to, I want to check that you guys are, know how to pronounce it. Okay. So please answer with this format first and then this format. Okay. So not a ship nebak. Okay. Ship sabak. Ship oil. So writing version is super easy, just like this, right? Okay, so please answer with the, this format first and this format later from the next questions, okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. My future wife got a pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Okay, so how much she is? She's in the three months. How you can say three months? Let's try with the tire first. We had a two different version, isn't it? For the tire, you need to use the what? Native Korean changing form, okay? So how you can say with the three months? Sedar, correct, not a set. Okay, say because you need to use the changing form, right? If you don't know what the changing form is, please uh, watching the our previous class with the basic chapter three counting. Okay, say that. Say that. All right. Then writing is gonna be what like this. Okay. How about this one? Seven months with K1. Okay, for the K1, what do we have to use it? Sino version. Then how you can say? 
how you can say seven months. What is the seven for the month? Easy guys, easy. All right, there we go. Ilgob is the native Korean, okay? So, chi, ke, wal. Okay, chi, ke, wal. And how you can write it down? Just like this. All right, not that difficult, isn't it? All right, let's try with another one. Okay, I have a new friend. Oh, we made a, I just met a new friend. Oh, long time no see. All right, hello. Let's have some meal someday. Okay, when do you want to meet? Oh, well, I have a time, I have a time at the two weeks later. Can you want to meet? Sure. Two weeks later? Two weeks later? <laughs> two weeks later? Confirm. Okay, how you can say two weeks later, guys? <laughs> so for the week, you already know the later, right? What is the later? Who we learned a lot. So for the weeks, which one you have to use it? Seen a version. Then how you can say two weeks later? Correct. Ooh, impressive. E ju hu. E ju hu. How you can writing? E ju. All right. Impressive, everyone. Okay. All right, then last question. This is gonna be the difficult, not a difficult, but all right, so like this. Let's, um, I'm gonna read like a narrator in the movie, the, a movie like trilogy. No, no, movie, not a trilogy, what is it? What, what is the like first like commercial for the movie? Skim? No. How we can say? What was the word for the what was the word for the like movie with the commercial? Ah, trailer. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> My brain is not working. Okay, so like this. 2021, September 23rd. Thursday, the movie will coming out. My bad. Yeah, I just, I, I tried. So how we can say with this one? 2021, September 23rd, Thursday. I will give you some hint, guys. Look at that, look at that. For the counting words, for the year, you can use this one. Once you can do, you can use this one. And day, you can use this one. And we learned about the Thursday before, right? So you can use up all of it. Then how you can say, guys? 2021, September. September is almost finished, everybody. Wow, time is so fast, right? 2020 is almost gone. <laughs> With the pandemic, oh my goodness. And whatever. Then Thursday, how you can say? Thursday is... Hyoil, is it? Is it Thursday is Hyoil? Thursday is Mogyoil. All right. So, all right. Then now you can say with this one. Please write down with the English reading version. Okay. I'm going to, oh, don't worry, guys. I'm going to give you some time. Three seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Abigail, that is super easy one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. As I told you before, you need to reading, uh, you need to go with the reading version. Okay. So how you can say 2021. Seen a version of months. 23. 23. And what's the day? And Mogyo, yeah. Each and each year, four is Samir Mogyo, yeah. All right, how like that is the answer. Each and each year, and then cool. Everything is the syllabus. Cool. 
2, 10, 3, 1, and oh, see, and oh, your if you don't need to sorry, guys. Okay, everybody can make a mistake. So, how you can this is the how you can say with that 2021, September 23rd, Thursday. Okay, 2021년 9월 23일 목요일. All right. How you, that is how you can read. How about the read, writing version? That is super simple, easy, simple, 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 simple. What is something? Okay, yeah. Okay. But as I told you guys, the most important thing is how you can read it. Okay. Please don't forget about this one. Okay. So how was it, guys? Not that difficult, everyone. Okay, but the important thing is you need to memorize it a lot. Okay, you need to keep practicing it. Of course, it's gonna be much more easy to find some like easy way to just writing down or something. But most important thing is uh, you know you need to know how you can pronounce it, how you can read it. Okay, so please go with the step by step. And even that is the hard way, we have to go with the hard way, then it's going to be really useful to develop your Korean skills. Okay, so don't worry to be, get wrong, okay, because of course you get wrong. And I'm never going to scold you with the wrong, okay, but at least you need to try in your places and you're uh, in the class, in the other place, wherever you are, you have to speak out and you need to practice with yourself okay if you guys have any questions you can always ask at the general help or in the general chat in the euro okay so please remember you're not alone okay then thank you for the coming today and see you at the next time okay